All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carter Rethwish. A lot of you know me from uh, meeting with me personally or working with myself and Ryan or a number of good salespeople we've got working on the exciting stuff we do. We're going to talk to you about a very important component here now. This is a sheet we've created to help everybody manage your campaign. It is essential that you pay attention to this sheet. Learning how to use a spreadsheet on Google Docs is not difficult. you got to just go out and do it. There's videos about how to use spreadsheets on the site. We're recording this video to show you how to do so using our spreadsheet designed to help your campaign be successful. The more interactive, the more involved you are in the campaign, not to be that you have to run everything, but if you, the more involved you are, the better it's going to be. We don't know your business as well as you do. We don't know all of the ins and outs of the things that make your business survive. We need you to give us a little feedback, and we'll take those and implement them for you with what we do to drive traffic to your website using all the social media stuff that we do. We also do some Google AdWords, uh, web development are the core things that we use. So let's talk about that real quick. I'm going to minimize or shrink down this with this uh, video camera thing. I want to keep this in front here so you guys can see there's a real person talking to you. But here is an example of our men's. This is a, a, a fictitious client because we want to create a demo. This is We've got a website dedicated for this client too to show the demo site that we create for our marketing site we create for people but right on the front here you can see we're on our promos and site pages I'm gonna start off at the checklist page or tab on this page on this sheet and we'll go through this fairly quickly because you can watch the video over as many times as needed so this is a sheet this is for some uh, a client in this case that has it's been filled out and we're working on it and you can see some of the active stuff on this sheet so if somebody is to get access to this we're gonna give you a live example we're gonna go ahead and add permissions to somebody and we're gonna go to my external hotmail account so there it is so it's not a gmail account so when I send this and I click on the link it's not gonna give me access I'm gonna have to then transfer over to my gmail account and then it will open so a lot of people who don't have actual gmail accounts there's not many people who don't these days because there's so much you do with google especially google docs you'll need to have that so that will send an email to me over here at my hotmail account and we'll let that sync there it is so there it is it's been offered to me now i can click on this and say open in sheets and because i am logged in with my gmail account it should open and you can see there okay yes you're in and it's because I do have a Gmail account that's tied into to open that up so let's open a duplicate you can see where I'm actively working on the sheet if I click on this cell and I can show you over here hey the guy that's working here he's in the green that's this Carter Rethwish guy I suppose this is Carter also but that's the other Carter Rethwish account um, so two different Carter Rethwishes there are two different emails but that shows you how you can actively work with the sheet. But that's how you get access. If you don't have a Gmail account, when you send that link, it'll say you need to create a Gmail account. But that's as easy as it is. So look for that email that says client checklist and social media target list. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and close that email. That's my Hotmail account. I'm going to close this copy of the same spreadsheet we've got open over here. But I want to jump over and show you a real live client. Now this client has been awesome to work with because they really have paid attention to what we do and are making good use and they've gotten great results from it too so we'll show you here here's a list of the checklist things that we are doing and most of these apply sometimes they don't but check to make sure that these these have been checked off for what we're doing for you as we continue to upgrade and improve your account probably the most important piece and instead of just firing back emails back and forth you can see your John is the owner of JB Tech He's got every day since we've launched this campaign, not every day, but almost every day, he's been putting stuff in to the spreadsheet, sharing with us what he wants done, things that we're keeping up on, instead of firing back emails and trying to sort through all those emails. But all you do is quickly put in context here. We're going to leave a couple down here at the bottom and say, please send me a report for the previous 30 days. And so our tech will go in and see that that message has been made there. And you might just be as simple as send a Facebook message and say, check the sheet. I've updated it. I want you to take a look at what we've got going on there. John is so interactive. His campaign has done well. But it's because he's taking, making full use of the sheet. The more involved you are, the more success you're going to have. It's like anything. If you want a $5,000 a month agency working for you that's going to do everything for you, you're going to pay them $5,000 a month. We keep our costs down. We ask you to just give us quick 
responsive feedback, and we've got the systems in place to make that happen. If you're not going to give us the feedback, we're going to start guessing. We're going to start sending you things. You're not going to respond, and things are going to sit there in a lull until we get some kind of response for you because we won't publish things and do a lot of work until you've approved what we're doing. So be involved. It's very important. Uh, groups to target. So if you're in a St. Louis market, this is the sheet we use. We've got tabs for every other city across the country virtually. But in the St. Louis market, here's a, a list of about 911 groups that we would say you want to be involved with to figure out if you want to target these. If you want to remove anybody from here, any group, just highlight the, the uh, line that they're on. You can click here or you can do the shift arrow key over to the right twice after, after you get to the cell. So I do the shift arrow key to the right and then just simply go delete. And then that will not import or, or put or add that uh, group to your list. And you can see how that does interactively change our totals as you can see here. Now we're down to 910. So I'll control Z back up to 911. So that's important to make sure you get that, especially as getting involved, getting started. And get, when we're getting started is when the most work is done. You'll get to where this thing is a machine. I've got clients that don't even call me or email me or anything. They just keep paying every month because they know that it drives a ton of traffic to their website. And we've proven that. So promotion, promos and site pages. Here's another important part. Here's where John has enlightened us with. Here's the things he wants to promote. So we've written posts accordingly. Here's the different tabs on his. He does have the marketing website from us. You can see and that marketing website is developed because we know the components that need to go into a website. He's got one of the older versions, but it's got all the same core stuff. And inside this, this site, it's got all the important things to get people to turn from visits into leads. So back over here. All of the contents you want added or updated on those sheets, you can do so here and make other notes relative to what we want. Important you fill those out for us to make sure that we get that data and, and information put in. The other other very important piece is the post sheet. So here where you'll you'll we will create the posts and we're gonna say please go and approve these because these are what we're actually going to be sending out. And as these posts become older, you want to have them out there moved, you say, hey, take this out of here and move it over to the next column because I don't want to keep using using that post anymore. And so then we'll just put a table here and call it old posts. We don't want to delete them because we might want to go back and revisit those if they prove to be worthy or, or effective. And we can tell that with the tracking stuff we put in place. So that's another very important piece. Um, and then finally a website checklist and this is for the site that we developed for you. You also get some reporting as you request to tell you how many posts have been made, etc. The most important port reporting, though, doesn't come from our analysis here, but if you have our site or if you have your own site, you should have Google Analytics set up. So you can see there, here is our Google Analytics, and here we are using, this is a, another site we've done, this is the one we have the most longevity with, but you can see here, just over a six-month time span, a total of 9,000 visits coming to the website. So that's about 1,500 visits a month. That's pretty good. That's the kind of traffic you're looking for on the high end when we, you know, depending on which package you go in, that's a pretty effective way to get. Timeline started things on according to the timeline, and it's listed here on his notes because he took good notes and we took notes along with him and followed up on some of his notes. But you can see he launched back here on about the 11th, exactly the 11th, and you can see where we didn't have anything set up for him until about the 11th, and then we started driving traffic of the campaign, got launched for traffic to be sent to this website here about a month later after all of this stuff was set up. We, we did actually launch it, campaigns about the third, okay? And so you can start to see once things start to take effect, and you can see we're at the 12th and, and on down and see, look at the traffic now. Where did we get a bunch of traffic? What kind of posts were we doing there? There was a time when some of his stuff was getting blocked. JBTech.com. We created his marketing site, site for him, the JBTechPros.com. And over the time you've seen here, over 3,200 visits. What's that really worth? Well, let's look, take a look at that. We did a quick um, search for you. A lot of people do PPC. 
the average cost of PPC keywords for his computer support, which is the majority of what he does, is $6.67. $6.67 per click. We have an ROI calculator we can do for some people if you'd like to see. Uh, John's budget is at the 308 mark right now uh, for what he's doing per month. Uh, but given the amount of visits he's getting, and you can see he's averaging about 550 per month. So we'll just go back here. I'm going to show you. on it but he does a good job keeping us on the ball keeping up to date with us with what he wants done and I'm pretty certain we know that's why we set that up okay 491 371 and so you can see and depending on what date range we're going we're going through a lot of Christmas time that time of year but let's just even take it down to 491 on the out the uh, total amount of visits so he's got an average cost per visit of 56 cents uh, uh, before, and now down to the 491, 63 cents. So his, his cost is 9% of the average cost for, per click here. So 10 times cheaper if your results were half as good. <laughs> And it's always a matter of time of how long it takes to get things set up. John had allowed us to get the site put together for him. He had a few things in place, and we've had to build up a lot for him along the way. And that's where the timeline we talk about becomes so important. And here it is, this timeline details for you. The time period of, of what we do and how long it takes to get going, how long it takes before you really have this machine built. It isn't built overnight. There's a lot of things Facebook slows you down on because they don't want you to send in all kinds of random messages. You've got to build your reputation. You need to get into the right areas and get uh, set up the, the right way without getting uh, in trouble for doing too much too quickly. And they get we've had clients try to do it on their own. They get shut down and they wonder why. So that is the key to having drive that kind of traffic. Let's go down here a little bit further through our sheet and, 